Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking very fast, I don't know why. Let me slow it down. Today I am filming a video. I am actually sitting here not wanting to film this. I just feel kind of awkward about this. But it's a story time video, I guess. It's how I find out I was pregnant at 18. I was 18 years old when I found out I was pregnant with my first daughter, Lily. Uh, yeah, I was very young, I really was. And now thinking back, I just feel like I was such a baby. I, I don't even know. It's sort of like weird thinking back at it because every year I feel like, oh my goodness, I was such a baby then. But I, I, the next year I think the same about this year, if that makes any sense. Anyways, I'm rambling. So let's start I guess. I've always had quite a regular cycle so I've never really counted it. I just know roughly when I'm going to get my period and then I get it and that's it. Like I don't know how to explain that. It's just it is what it is. Sorry let me get comfy. Um, so it was December of 2012 yeah, it was December of 2012. And I didn't actually notice that I hadn't got my period. Um, I was very busy. I used to work and I was in college. So I worked on every single day that I wasn't at college. And I was at college four days a week. So I would work three days a week. It was only four hours a day, but still I would work them. Four to six hours, it was every day. But I was very busy and when i wasn't at work or at college i was with my boyfriend or with my friends so i had a very high paced lifestyle and i hadn't noticed that i hadn't gotten my period then my breasts started getting very very sore and i felt kind of weird uh, i didn't have any other symptoms with my first pregnancy except for breast tenderness so I decided that I needed to buy a pregnancy test. However, I was 18 years old and it wasn't payday. And at that age, if it isn't payday, I didn't have any money. I would just spend all my money as soon as I'd get it. And then I would work until I had more money. It wasn't very great, but I was very young and I didn't know about saving i didn't need to save for any reason i would just live in the moment as most 18 year olds do i guess so i was very worried um that i had absolutely no money to even buy a pregnancy test and it's probably a sign that you shouldn't you should be more careful and you shouldn't be getting pregnant but i was quite responsible i guess i was on the pill i was taking it very lightheartedly I guess I keep saying I guess I'm very awkward talking about this I don't know why uh, it's not really something I discuss with people I am not ashamed anymore of being a really young parent I used to be for very long um, I wouldn't say ashamed but I was very um, what's the English word self-conscious I guess about it no anymore. Anyways, back to my story. Um, I had no money to buy a pregnancy test, so I actually had to ask my boyfriend to please give me a couple of pounds. I don't know how much pregnancy test was. Um, it was like the cheapest one I could find that I need, was going to get. And I needed it to buy a pregnancy test that day. And he was like, you're fine. You're not pregnant. You're just imagining things you'll get your period soon so i thought okay like maybe you're right i'm just overthinking overthinking things because i am a big overthinker so i just left it for a couple more days and i just couldn't get it out of my head i was so adamant that i was pregnant but i was so in denial that I still needed to buy that pregnancy test and I thought it was going to say negative. I thought it was going to say negative. I think I'm talking so fast because I just want to get this all out. Um, so I 
I asked that I was like I need to take a test so he gave me the money I went to buy the test but I was very embarrassed to go by the test so I got my friend um, on our break from work I was at work that day and I remember when I first came into work all the shops were closed so I couldn't go buy one but so I had to wait until my lunch time which was like four hours later I think that they had long shift um, I had to wait to go by the test and I just kept thinking about it and I was just I just kept thinking about it and I was very absent that day at work I really didn't care for much apart from going to the shop and just getting that negative result uh, so I went four hours came and we went to the shop and I was like I cannot do it I can't go in there so I got my friend to go buy it and he did he went in the shop and he bought me my test he bought me my test, uh, so I went into the toilets. Um, it was a supermarket. A supermarket. It was a what are they called? Shopping center. It was a shopping center. So I went into the shopping center toilets, and I took it. And I remember I took it, and then I plopped it on top of the toilet holder like it's like this metal i don't know if all toilets have that but this one did it had a big metal toilet roll holder it's like the really big massive toilet rolls i remember it was on this side i plopped the lid on put it up there and then i pulled up i pulled up my pants and then it said to wait like three minutes and I thought I would just look quickly and it hadn't even been like 30 seconds and it had two big red lines well they were pink two big pink lines just sitting there and I feel like my heart sank I really wasn't ready to be a parent I wasn't ready mentally I wasn't ready physically you're so young 18 you really haven't completely developed as a young woman and I felt like I had so much to live before I became a parent and I was really oh my god I'm getting so emotional I felt like my life was over because I was now going to be a mom I was very very scared I felt very alone I felt like everybody was going to judge me because you know you make friendships and you know people and it's a very scary thing to become a parent before you are ready I, I mean even financially you can see I definitely wasn't prepared for any of this oh god This is why I didn't want to film this video. Um, uh, I was very, very scared and I didn't know how to tell my boyfriend and I called him as soon as I came out of the toilet. I remember as soon as I saw it, I laughed. Like, I don't even know why, I just laughed. And then I just started crying so much in this toilet, little cubicle, I was just, sobbing my heart out my friend was outside waiting for me waiting for me to come with the news and I remember when I came out I was just crying so hard we really didn't have to say anything we just walked outside and then I called Junior and I told him that I was pregnant and I was hysterical and I was crying and um he was definitely a lot stronger than I was I guess um he was very supportive he he really was he told me that it was going to be okay everything that you kind of want to hear but aren't really listening to but um yeah that's basically how I find out how I found out I actually didn't tell people till I was about 
eight months pregnant i would avoid going out because i really didn't want people to see me pregnant people that i knew from school and stuff or from college i finished college uh, i actually my belly grew quite late so people at college didn't know because i was due in september college finished early june so you, you really couldn't see much i just looked like i'd gained a bit of weight but then as soon as my daughter was born and as soon as i saw her um i just felt so proud and i wanted to be the best parent that i could be to her i feel really silly crying If you are a young person who has found themselves in this situation, just, I don't even really know what advice to give you. It's going to be okay. It really is. You will see your little person and you will fall in love and your whole world will shift. But in a good way, I was so scared that I was going to lose my identity and I was going to lose myself. But you don't. You just grow as a person and you become someone else. And someone that hopefully your kids can be proud of and you can be proud of. And um, yeah, my, my world was fine. I We made it work. Um, I got a job. And I worked very hard to get everything that my daughter needed. And I still do. Um, and I'm a lot more responsible with my contraception now, I tell you that. I have since had a son. I've got two kids now. I am 24 years old. And they are my absolute world. And I love and worship them so much. So, yes, if you are a young person who has found themselves in this situation, it is going to be okay. Whatever you choose to do, you will be fine. You really will. Um, don't let, I think this is probably the best advice I can give you. Don't worry about what people that aren't helping you with any bills have to say about your life. It really doesn't matter. It really does not matter as long as you know you're doing the best you can do because the best you can do, it's definitely the best. That's really all that matters. Yeah, that's pretty much how I found out I was pregnant. At 18 years old, I gave birth to my daughter a month after my 19th birthday. Uh, my birthday's in August and hers is in September, like I said and she is the light of my life and i love her i adore her and she was definitely a blessing my voice is going so i'm going to finish this video before i have no voice thank you so much for watching i'm so sorry i was a bit of a mess i really hope that you have a lovely day bye so see you later bye thumbs up if you like this video bye